Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jason from Delusionals Arcade. Just wanted to give you a quick update. I got this thing working. It's pretty awesome. I have my light on here so you can see. Basically, they're uh, decrypted ROMs that you see there. I just had to burn those two. Those are the US ROMs. I had some bad luck with the Japanese version. Um, and I think it would have worked. I was just kind of burning them wrong. I'm still learning this whole process of uh, burning EP ROMs and all that stuff. But I'll, I'll have a video in the future because I kind of figured it out. And it's real easy to mess up. Um, I was actually, I think, I'm pretty sure I was burning blank, uh, literally firing blanks into the, into the EPROMs, so, uh, that's why it kept coming up blank. But, uh, I did manage to get everything done. You'll see this chip here swapped out. It's the same exact chip as this one. It's an MC68000P12, and I have those two ROMs swapped. I actually swapped uh, the two ROMs on top. Those I had burned originally into Japanese because I'd run out of the original ones and I didn't want to wait. So I tried uh, peeling these off here, erasing them, and putting them to Japanese versions. But it wasn't working because I think I was burning blanks. So um, I ended up saying, oh, let me just take everything apart, start from square one, burn it, verify it. And this time I kind of uh, figured it out and uh, got everything working. So I burned these to their original... Uh, ROMs that were originally there. They just have different labels on them. So if you were to take this just as is, all I had to do is decrypt, burn these two decrypt ROMs here, swap out the processor that had the battery in it to a regular processor, and bam, it worked. Uh, the monitor actually was set all the way to bright. You can see there it says bright and contrast, and it was all the way up. I guess whoever had it was trying to figure out why it wasn't working, it wasn't getting any sound. Uh, so when I first got it started, I'm like, great, I have sound, I have picture. But it was all the way bright and it looked terrible. I couldn't see anything. And then I said, well, late, let me try uh, switching these back here. Switch the brightness down. Bam. So super stoked, super happy. Um, I'm going to plug it in now. There's an issue with, um, I guess, the force feedback. It seems to be a little strong. I may have to tweak it. But, uh, you know, let me turn it on and show you. How it looks. Let's see here. Okay, so you see that's on. Everything's turning on. Let's see here. There we go. It's warmed up. Yeah, so there it is. So it looks pretty good. I'm going to press start so you can kind of see. Uh, what the issue is um, You could land by pressing down you can Go up take off left right and then you press the throttle and when you do You'll hear that awful force feedback. It's just really loud. The game works fine There's really nothing wrong with it otherwise so You know just the Awful sound and you can see it You can see it turning there yeah, so I'm turning it off. It, to me, it looks like, just right off the bat, that this is a little too... It's set to either be too strong or there's a piece missing somewhere along the line that makes it, uh, you know, just not balanced and extra strong. So I'll figure it out over time, but the main thing was I got this board. These boards are expensive. I actually went on eBay and it went up to like... 70 bucks plus 50 dollars shipping and i was like ah, i'm not gonna buy a new one plus it was as is untested so just glad i resurrected it on my own big learning experience i will have a video in the future on how to burn roms and ep roms and stuff because uh it really was you know learning experience it's not as easy as you think uh but once you know it it's super simple so uh so there you go hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys soon